that he died on the cross for our sin, was buried and raised on the third day. And if you confess this with your mouth and believe this in your heart, he will save you. There are not multi ways in which we can be saved. There is just one way and his name is Jesus Christ. It doesn't come through going to church. It doesn't come from being a Roman Catholic and being water baptized and thinking that you could do enough good deeds in order to get to heaven. You have to be born again of the Holy Spirit. You have to have a heart change. Uh, the Bible says that men's hearts are deceitful and incredibly wicked. And so who could know them? We are by nature, we are sinners. And we are drawn to the things that are contrary to God. And so when we stand before him on the day of our judgment, no matter how good a person we think we are, we are going to stand before God condemned a sinner. But because God loves you, because he doesn't want to send you to hell, what he did was he sent his son into the world 2,000 years ago so that he could die on the cross for your sin. When you put your complete trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin and he saves you, he changes your heart. He gives you the Holy Spirit. He completely regenerates you and makes you alive. He gives you more love and peace and joy than you will ever find in the things of this world. Your love and the peace that you're looking for doesn't come through your circumstances. It doesn't come because you have a big house, money, land. It comes because Jesus Christ gives you his love, his peace, his joy. It's found in the person of Jesus Christ. You see, religion is, is man-made. Men come in and infiltrate God's way of salvation and they introduce their own rules and religions and things in which you must do in order to get to heaven. You will never get to heaven based upon your good deeds. The way in which you get there is through believing in Jesus Christ. He is very much alive. When he came down from heaven 2,000 years ago, he took our sin upon himself and on the third day was resurrected from the dead. And on the 40th day after his resurrection, he ascended into heaven. He was seen by over 500 witnesses and all his apostles um, suffered and died for their testimony. Jesus is alive and soon he's going to come back. But if you are to die in your sin, if you're not ready when he comes back, if you're not uh, made alive in him, you will not receive salvation. It is not through going to church and being a good person and thinking that you can do enough good deeds in order to get there because you cannot. There is just one way in which you can be saved and his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus took your sin upon your, on himself so that he could reconcile you back to God. You chase after the things of this world thinking that you can find your peace and happiness in them. But these are like a blip in the ocean. They're going to pass away one day. And you along with it unless you repent and put your trust in Jesus. Jesus is alive. He can save you today. He can change you. Every sin that you have ever committed, he can forgive you for it. Behind me is an open road bus. They can't, you know, they offer help for people with drug addictions and things like that. But the thing is... Jesus can set you free from all of that. He can deliver you from everything you have ever done. Alcohol addiction, drug addiction, whatever it is that you struggle with, Jesus can set you free from it. He can change your heart and enable you to have a relationship with God. And he can also show you what it's like to experience true love in your life. You don't have to continue to go astray. You can be saved today. I used to be like that. I used to think that the things of this world was where I would find my pleasure until one day when Jesus miraculously saved me. And when he saved me, he changed my heart and he gave me his Holy Spirit. He gave me new life. People can mock and scorn as much as they want, but guess what? When you die, you are going to face God and you will face the judgment of God. And unless you be born again of the Holy Spirit, unless you put your trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, unless the blood of Christ has cleansed you of every sin that you have ever committed, you will die in your sin and you will go to hell. You can think that you are a good person because the things that you do wrong are not hurting anybody. But guess what? You're not a good person. Every single human being in this world has sinned against the Holy God. Everybody has told lies, lusted, committed adultery, hated in their hearts, slandered, gossiped. People hurt each other just so that they can feel good about themselves. They mock and they scorn and they laugh and they treat people disgracefully. And you know what? God is a righteous God. He's going to judge you for that behavior. And he's a just God. So instead of judging us based on who told a little lie versus who told a big one, all men are condemned a sinner. But he loves you. And he made the 
to wait for you to receive salvation. He came down in the person of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago and he took, his, took your sin upon himself so that you could receive salvation. He did that because he loves you. He did that because he's a holy God and he cannot let you into heaven based on your good deeds because your bad deeds will always outweigh your good deeds. He did that because he's righteous and he cannot judge us based on who told a big lie versus who told a little lie. And he's a very just God and so therefore he has condemned all men a sinner. And going to church and being baptized and thinking that you can do religion is not going to save you ever. There is only one way in which you can receive salvation and his name is Jesus Christ. You put your trust in the person of Jesus. You believe in him. You believe that he died on the cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. And when you believe this in your heart and you confess this with your mouth, he saves you. Jesus is alive. He is coming back soon. The world that you live in is going to continue to get worse. And you will not find redemption in the Catholic Church, in a Mormon Church, in Jehovah Witness Church. You will not find redemption in religion. You will only find it in the person of Jesus Christ. The blood of Christ can cleanse you of every sin that you have ever committed. Every sin that you have ever committed, God can forgive you for it. He can completely change your heart. He can show you not only what it's like to receive real love, he can show you what it's like to actually love others the way in which you yourself would want to be loved. He can transform you. He can set you free of everything you have ever done. Whether you have alcohol, drug addiction, he can change that today. If you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe that he died on the cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, if you confess this with your mouth, he will save you. But if you continue to go astray, you will face the wrath of God. And you can deny his existence. You can pretend that he does it. he's not there. You can stay ignorant and believe that you are not doing that by the works. One sin was enough to eternally separate Adam from God in the Garden of Eden. How many times a day do you sin against him? How many times a day do you break the law of God? And you think that you can get to heaven based off of your good deeds. People assume that when somebody dies, their loved ones are in heaven. That's not true. Right now, everybody is sleeping. But if you die in Christ, when he wakes you up, if you, if you, if you, if you die in him, when he wakes you up, you will be saved. But if you die in your sin, when you face him on the day of your judgment, you will not receive eternal life. There is just one way to be saved, and his name is Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father except through me. Jesus, the person of Jesus Christ, not church, not religion, nothing else can save you except the blood of Christ. You have to believe that he died on the cross for your sin, was buried, and raised on the third day. And if you confess this with your mouth and believe this in your heart, he will save you. Stop chasing the things of this world and thinking that you're going to find something that you're looking for. You're not. You're only going to find that true fulfillment in the person of Jesus. You are separated from God because of your sinful nature. And in order for you to receive the kingdom of God, you have to be born again. And when you are born again, God takes away your stony heart. He gives you a heart of flesh and he puts his Holy Spirit within you. And this is the only way in which you can be saved. It is from faith in Jesus Christ. There is not multiple ways to be saved. There is just one way. And his name is Jesus. God bless you.